So commuting and touring with a bike basket is making a comeback in a really big way. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at one of the first purpose-built bags designed to work with the Wald 137, the Sackville Shop Sack bag designed by Rivendell and made by Sackville. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers, and if you are new to the channel, if you're into things like bike touring, bike packing, commuting by bike, and all the various uh, nerdery that goes along with that, then this channel is for you and consider subscribing. So jumping right in, the Sackville Shop Sack, that's a tongue twister, uh, is essentially a zippered tote that's, uh, that also happens to fit really, really well in the Wald 137 basket. This bag, like the other bags made by Sackville, are all made in the U.S. from really high quality materials. It comes in two colors. There's a gray version and this happens to be the olive version. The fabric itself is a tightly woven cotton with a bit of a wax finish, although it doesn't feel waxy to the touch. It's really durable, utilitarian, and although I've only had it a few weeks, it's uh, that kind of bag where it, it just, it's just going to look better the more you use it. First thing I really like is that it's a really roomy bag. Its base fills the, one, the Wald 137, but then it expands and gets wider near the top. So it's great for uh, stuffing things, maybe overstuffing things. I actually used it on a couple of video shoots and was able to fit uh, two cameras, a bevy of lenses, a microphone, and even a Gorillapod all in uh, the Sackville shop sack. The materials are also awesome. Uh, the fabric seems really durable and the zippers, they use really nice high quality big zippers that are smooth to open and close and you won't have problems with the zippers jamming up. So because of the tight weave of the fabric and the wax finish, the bag is highly water resistant. Uh, it's not waterproof. I wouldn't toss this in the river. But if you have something that you have to keep perfectly dry, I'd recommend wrapping it in the plastic bag, then putting it inside the shop sack. Other things I like about the bag is uh, simply the looks. It's very utilitarian, it's kind of discreet, and it's one of those bags that will just age well. We just did a week and a half long trip down to Arizona. Uh, I used it a couple days as a really discreet camera bag. I also loved it as a travel bag uh, on the airplane. It slips nicely underneath the seat in front of you and because the sides come up uh, really tall, when you go down to grab things in the bag, you're not gonna lose it on the plane as it's moving. And the bag does have two loops. Uh, which allows you to use uh, carabiners, S-beaners, or even just like a bungee toggle. I know that some people might be bothered by the rattling sound if you're using an S-beaner, but for me, it's not a big deal. And if you're really concerned about uh, that rattling sound, you can just use um, you know, some cordage and just do a loop knot or something. Another thing I really like is uh, the webbing handles. They're just right length. You can sling it over your shoulder and it works well that way as well. So what about dislikes? Uh, actually, there aren't too many. Uh, one big one might be that when it's in the basket itself, uh, the top is rather wide. So for those of you that are concerned about aerodynamics, this bag is not for you. Uh, but it also sometimes gets in the way of the brifters when shifting. You kind of have to fold the top down. So if you run narrow bars, uh, it might bug you a bit. But again, this can be worked around by just keeping the flap down with a cargo net. And that's really it for the Sackville Shop Sack. It's a bag that uh, I thought I'd like and uh, actually found myself surprised at how much I liked it. It's gonna be my go-to bag for whenever we travel. It makes a great carry-on bag, but also a great around town bag for commuting. I got my bag locally here in Portland at Ravello. So if you're in town and wanna get a Sackville bag, definitely stop by their shop uh, looking online. It looks like Rivendell is out of the gray version, which uh, Ravello has a couple in their store. So if you want the gray one and you want it now, uh, give them a call and they'll ship it to you. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm curious, are there any other Sackville bag users out there? What do you think of their products? Have they aged well? But let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more bike nerdy content like this, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.